Justice. So justice is all about, you know, you could be going through or you have went through a lot of traumatic situations and that, you know, all of those situations is being balanced out, whether it's past, present or future. It's being weighed out and justice is being served. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. You went through a lot of depression. You went through a lot of heartbreak and betrayal with this Three of Swords. A lot of traumatic, you know, events. Somebody could be heartbroken that justice is being served for you. Or justice is being brought to you. And that could be have ha that could have someone in depression at the Three of Swords. This could have been somebody that wanted you to be depressed. And now that you know justice is being served for you. It backfired on them and now they're depressed. Yeah, they wanted to create blockages for you at the Seven of Wands and it backfired. So whatever they tried to do to create blockages or take you through trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles, it, it backfired at the Seven of Wands. Because you're somebody that's divinely protected. You could be a Libra with this Justice card. And then Queen of Wands. You're somebody that's very talented. You're a go-getter. You set goals and you go after them with a heavy passion. And you stand out. You know, you're not somebody that's sitting back trying to worry about what this person got going on or work. But you have control of your own future. You're in control of the energy that you put out there. Very goal-oriented. Yeah, this person wanted you to be weighed down at the Ten of Wands, feeling pressure, feeling burden, a lot of weight on one individual, a lot of stuff in your face that you cannot see, and then a lot of stuff on your back that you could not weigh. And it just have you running in circles, heavy burdens. Yeah, Tower. This person is sitting back dealing with a tower moment, dealing with an overflow of bad choices for whatever they did to try to have you in depression, to have you heartbroken. They could have set back and did, you know, cause destruction in your life, cause damage to you. Nine of Pentacles is here. All because you're somebody that, you know, you mind your business. As I say, you know, you're not worried about what everybody else got going on. You focus on yourself and the energy that you walk in and the energy that you put out. But you can be somebody that's this nine of pentacles, somebody that's very, you know, sufficient and abundant. You're single. You know, you know what you want out of life. You can read energy. No matter if you don't read tarot or not, you can still read energy. You're somebody that's a business owner. You have your own business and you keep yourself to yourself. You don't just give yourself to everybody intimately. So you could be practicing celibacy. You know, until you find that person that you can be committed to, that you, you know that person is going to be committed to you as well. Um, they were envious of, you know, they wanted to have you going through tower moments because of you could have started a business. And you were doing everything on your own. And people were looking at you on the outside, looking in, didn't know what you had them been through. And they wanted to create blockages for you. Wanted to have you depressed. Wanted to have you weighed down and burdened. And now all of that energy backfired onto them as justice is being served for you. Yeah, they did something over and over again, nine of wands. They wanted you to feel battered and bruised, wounded, left alone. They didn't know you was a wounded warrior. So whatever they had done through to you, it was through back to them. You needed to be left alone. You had to feel like you didn't have nobody because you had to go through these battles alone. Because where you're headed, these people cannot go. These could have been people that were close to you that did this. People that you would least expect that wanted to betray you. Or it could have been people that you don't even know. Could have been one of the two or both. Yeah, this is, could have been people that you don't even know with this moon card. This was done in secret. 
So this person, whoever this person is that you didn't even know, they were watching you. They could have seen you over the internet. This could have been somebody that you do know. But the person that did it was somebody that was close to somebody that you know. And they could have sat back and bragged about you. How you're this nine of pentacles upright standing on your own two feet. And they didn't even know that the person that was sitting next to them, that they were complimenting you too, was jealous of you. Wanted you to be heartbroken. Wanted to throw weight on you. And they secretly did this behind the scenes to keep a lot of stuff hidden. Because whoever this other person is that knew you, knew where you had done came from, knew what you had done been through, was complimenting you. And this third party individual could not stand it. Yes, Ace of Wands is here. Whatever new beginning that you had done started, whatever new venture in life, new business, they could not stand it. Yeah, you finally start taking care of yourself and loving yourself. You're somebody that take care of yourself. You keep yourself up, Ace of Cups. You love yourself. And whoever this person is that you don't know secretly wanted to throw weight on you. And they don't even know you. Don't even know what you have been through. And they're sitting back going through towers when they should just mind their business. But this person is the devil. Somebody that's toxic and binded to bad habits. Got different obsessions. And thought they would sit back and just look at you or look at how this person was complimenting you. And they would sit back and make you, you know, they would sit back and do something to you and you would never know. Justice would never be served. They basically thought it was sweet because they didn't know you. This person could have prescribed, you know, made it, you know, literally described you as a person that's very loving, caring, queen of cups. Somebody that's emotionally mature, somebody that, you know, if you don't have kids, you're just a loving, caring person. But if you do have kids, you take care of your kids. You're always giving to your kids and you put your kids first. This person could not stand the way that this person was, you know, holding you in high honor. This could have been somebody that wanted to be held in that type of light in front of this person. And this person kept bragging about you and it irritated this person. And wanted this, you know, had this person looking at. Seeing something in you that they don't see in their self. And they took it out on you secretly with this moon card. Did a whole bunch of stuff in secret to you. And this didn't have nothing to do with you. It all had to do with their self. And they took it out on you secretly. And it did not work. It all backfired. Yeah, because this person had love for you. The lovers is here. This could be somebody that, you know, you got love for this person and they got love for you. And you know this person got love for you, but you didn't know the people that they were around. As they hold you in high honor, you probably didn't even talk to this person or not even around this person. The person just bragging about you because of the type of person you are, the type of energy you stand up in. Just being you. And these people got behind the scenes and got mad because they could not be you. Yeah, these are people that overindulge in toxic patterns, nine of cups. They just sit back getting drunk, overindulging, and toxicity. If they don't drink, they sit back and get high, overindulging in toxicity. Whatever they did, it backfired. Yeah, they, they could have had it. The hangman is here. They did something to have you stuck in a hangman position. They could have went and gave false statements on you. You could have had a, a false case pinned up on you and you didn't know where it came from. They could have made it look like it was somebody else who did it, but it wasn't. The whole time it's somebody that you don't even know that was mad because someone else was admiring you for the energy that you stand up in, your own. And this toxic person that's binding to bad habits wanted to, you know, be in your energy. They could have tried to play in your energy, probably tried to act like you. Wanted this person to be attracted to them the way they were attracted to you. The way they sat back and complimented you, they wished that they could have that. Instead of going and looking in the mirror and healing whatever they needed to, to heal for them to be insecure, they secretly tried to take it out on you. Yeah, and this made this person four of swords. It made this person that they sat back and did whatever they did. You know, whoever this person was that was complimenting you, this is somebody that you know, but they was talking to people that you don't know. So it could have been a friend a friend of yours that you really don't talk to no more. 
and one of their friends or their associates. And the reason why you weren't talking to this person for of swords, you were in isolation away from this person, and you only had good vibes around this person, is because this moon card is here. They were secretly doing spell work on this person to keep this person away from you because this person held you in high honor. This person bragged about you, gave you compliments because of the energy you walk in. And they secretly try to throw weight on you. Yeah, eight of wands in the reverse. You could be trying to figure out why haven't this person messaged me? Why haven't this person came towards me? Why haven't this person talked to me? Why haven't I heard from such and such? Eight of wands in the reverse. This person cannot send you a message. This person have not communicated with you because they could have blocked y'all on social media. Could have blocked y'all phones. Like hacked y'all phones and blocked text messages. Or emails or however you used to communicate with this person. These people were envious and jealous because of the way this person communicated with you and communicated about you and they could not stand it. Yeah, you're somebody that's a healer, a star. You come off with this healing energy and they cannot stand it as they walk around in toxicity. You're someone that poured out love to this person, showed love to this person. You know, was helping this person, spiritually teaching this person. And they could not stand this. They didn't want you to communicate with this person. Yeah, now they're under judgment. Judgment is here. They're going through karma for whatever they did. For trying to, you know, play in your energy and play in this person's energy. Yeah, all because they were at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Lying, sneaking, cheating, trying to steal something from this person. And this person was holding you in high honor. You could have been motivated, you know, with this star card, you could have been somebody that was, you know, spiritually teaching this person, as I said, like a motivational speaker. And was helping this person get their life in order with just words and you didn't even know this. And they went behind the scenes and started bragging on you to other people that you don't know. And they jumped at the seven of swords, being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing stuff, being dishonest and trying to use that person for whatever they can get out of them. They could have sat back and robbed that person because they could not, you know, have this person look at them how they looked at you. Yeah, they wanted you to be at a two of wands wondering what was going on. Why haven't you heard from this person? Or just standing at a stalemate not knowing which way to go. Because this person complimented you on whatever new business that you started or whatever new venture that you started. So they thought they were going to stop you and have you at a two of wands not knowing which way to go in life. Because you had them just started a new business. Just started a new beginning after going through a whole bunch of stuff that you had them went through. That these people didn't even know. If they knew, they was jealous of it because they could not heal. They walk in toxicity. They like to overindulge in toxic patterns. Nine of cups. Arms folded and feet kicked up. With this nine of cups card. And this person described you as a queen of cups. Somebody that's loving, caring, very forgiving. You, your emotions are intact. You're not emotionless. Whatever you went through, it didn't make you cold. It didn't make you where you didn't want to have emotions or you just ran around here with hate on your shoulder and took it out on other people. And that's the energy that these people were around. These people were in that you, this, your person, I'm, figure, I'm feeling that this is your person was complimenting you in front of. And they got mad because of your strength. Yeah, the strength card is here. They got mad because of your growth. They got mad because of your strength. And they got mad because of, you know, whatever you went through, it didn't kill you. It just made you stronger. And, your, your, and you ended out of um, a karmic cycle with the world card. But your person also ended out of a cycle with these people as well. So they can walk into a whole new cycle to have changes coming in. Yeah, your person would look at your person look at you as a hair find somebody that's very loyal, committed, somebody that they can get advice from spiritually, mentally, and physically. And these karmics or this karmic could not stand it. Yeah, they look at you as somebody that speaks the truth. You cut out things that no longer serve purpose. King of Swords, somebody that's very smart, and you can read energy. So you you quick to cut a person off with the quickness. You have turned your person into a king of swords. They're cutting off people that no longer serve purpose. And this is all happening. Yeah, this is your two of, 
This is somebody that's your two of cups that held you in high honor, six of wands. Somebody that you were supposed to partner up with. Somebody you were supposed to, you know, come in union with. Express or work with and express the way you feel to that person. These people tried to create blockages behind the scenes, these karmics, and it did not work. Yeah, three of wands. All because they knew what decision this person made, three of wands. They knew this person made a final decision and they wanted to commit to you. Whoever they had been talking to, it could have been a friend. This person was jealous and went and told somebody else, clicked up with other people behind the scenes to try to create blockages, to try to have y'all blocked off and isolated from each other. And this was all a secret. What they didn't expect for was for all the stuff that they wanted for you and this person to try to keep y'all apart. It to backfire on them. So your person not only was isolated from you, you know, disting distinguishing all the snakes out of their grass, but they isolate themselves from these people as well. Yeah, because they know they have a ten of pentacles with you. Generational wealth. They know they're supposed to come together with you and build a ten of pentacles. Generational wealth. And have a wealthy family life with you for 10 more generations to go. Yeah, the sun card is here. And you're going to be happy because you're closed out of a toxic karmic cycle. A lot of stuff got exposed and illuminated. But this person is happy about them, you know, coming together with you with this 10 of pentacles and creating this generational wealth. Because that's the only person that they can see themselves doing it with is you. And these karmas, they can't stand it because you make this person happy. This is somebody that made you happy. And they wanted to confuse you. They wanted you to think that this person didn't want, you know, didn't want nothing to do with you, wished ill will on you. They project their energy off onto you out of hate and jealousy. So as you were away from this person, you didn't know what was going on with this person. This person was getting woke to the snakes that was around them that they didn't know. Again, a death card is here. They were putting an end to situations and going through a whole rebirth. That's why you had to feel left alone. And this person was feeling left alone, but you just didn't know because you hadn't contact or heard anything from this person. It's because where y'all going, people can't go. They cannot, they cannot attach themselves to you and this person's destiny, y'all ten of pentacles. Or y'all will of fortune. They cannot attach themselves to that. Everybody got their own free will. Yeah, the hermit card is here. They cannot, you know. This is all about being ghosted. And these people are getting ghosted. Your person had to go within to investigate. Gain a lot of knowledge and wisdom about the people that they didn't know that was placed around them. And now you're a person, the type of person that don't even want to be around people. They just like to be alone. Kind of ghosted the whole world. And that's probably why you hadn't heard from this person. Yeah, since the past, Six of Cups. You probably hadn't heard from this person in a while. And this is events that took place in the past, Six of Cups. This could have been people that they've been knowing their whole life and they thought they could trust. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Got behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles. And was working and building to try to destroy y'all or keep y'all isolated from each other. And it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't do nothing but make this person stand up in their energy emperor. Stand up and take control of their own energy, their own life. This person is already, this person had to get in their emperor energy so they could, you know, stand up and be able to create this generational wealth with you, build an empire. But they have been sitting back watching you, Page of Swords. Getting the motivation. Yeah, then, I, then I'm hearing Knight of Wands and then a chariot popped out. So with this Knight of Wands energy, they could be, you know, gaining truth and clarity. Moving forward in life or moving on from a situation that wasn't nothing but a Knight of Wands. Somebody that was a lustful energy that came in and out. We will have them running around her doing a lot of stuff without thinking it through. And they were just in and out, getting what they wanted, and they didn't even stay long. Just in and out. In and out of this person's life. And this person had to learn to love their self first. Stand up in their own energy and have control of their own energy. 
and know their worth. Yeah, they have to balance their self out temperances here. Balance out their masculine and feminine energy. But this person is, you know, moving on from this Knight of Wands energy and on the chariot coming to balance something out with you. Temperance is here. They want to balance this situation out. Yeah, they're trying to take a leap of faith. The Fool card is here. Towards new ventures in life with you. They could be coming to finally express the way they feel about you. Stuff that you didn't know. Yeah, Page of Cups. They want to apologize. They, they could have been... When I say express their emotions about stuff that you didn't know, this person didn't know how to properly express the way they felt, Page of Cups. This is about all about being, you know, emotionally immature, being in love with someone, but you don't know how to express that. Um, they want to apologize because they probably just ghosted you, Page of Cups, and you hadn't heard from this person. Yeah, King of Pentacles. There's somebody that they look at you as a king of pentacles. Somebody that's very nurturing. You work hard. You're stable, money oriented. And you're business minded, business oriented as well. Yeah, and you make them happy. Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. You make them happy. That's why a lot of knight of swords energy, a lot of people were mad. Knight of swords. And they ran around her doing a lot of stuff quick without thinking it through in this Knight of Wands energy. And then Knight of Swords, they were so mad to the point where they spread it lies on your name. Slander. Did something to have you wrapped up in the justice system. And then you wouldn't know where it's coming from because you don't even know these people. And it all backfired. Yeah, they had them try to blind people to a swords from the truth. All because this person held you in high honor and heavy compliment for being you. The devil couldn't stand it, man. They wanted to blind people from the truth. They wanted people to be blinded to the fact that they set back playing with stuff they know nothing about. And they thought that they had them blinded to justice system at the two of swords. You could have exposed them for playing with spell work with this moon card popping out. Yeah, queen of swords. You could have exposed them and spoke the truth about them playing with spell work to this person. And this person already held you in high honor. So they started looking at people around him and, and being discerned. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords clarity. This person have gained truth and clarity and confirmation after you spoke the truth to them. Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. You spoke the truth to them. And they gained truth and clarity. So they found out something. They found out why they were sitting back confused, Seven of Cups. They found out people were trying to keep them in a confused mindset where they wouldn't be able to walk away from toxic people or toxic patterns. Yeah, and they also found out you was their person, Four of Wands. Y'all share the same soul. They knew that people were trying to keep them in illusions and confusions, Seven of Cups, because y'all have the same soul, Four of Wands. But they also knew that this person was trying to keep them confused because um, this part, your person could have been keeping this person stable in some type of way with this four of wands is what I'm getting. They could have been living with your person. Your person could have been knight of cups in them and they didn't know why. With this knight of cups could have been, you know, coming in quick with love for this person all the time. And, and they didn't know this person was finessing them so they can stay in their house or stay stable four of wands. Yeah, your person had to walk away from this person. Eight of Cups. They, in, they view life in a, on a whole nother level, a whole nother perspective, and they've walked away from toxic patterns. They're no longer in a confused mindset. Yeah, they want commitment. Ace of Pentacles. They want commitment. And they also want to communicate with you. Page of Wands. Whoever this person is that, you know... Wanted your person to have them stable, always needing them to, you know, with this two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, balance something out. Your person is leaving them to balance their self out, two of pentacles. So they could be sitting back juggling between thoughts and finances, trying to figure this out. And a lot of stuff backfire on them. So whatever they set back and thought they would make you look like to keep this person attached to them, to keep this person stuck, it did not work. They're sitting back at the two of pentacles trying to figure out how are they going to balance their self out. 
when they could have just let your, you know, let your person walk away or however, they, instead of trying to hold on to your person, but they didn't want to. They thought they had your person right where they wanted your person because they kept finessing your person. They kept secretly playing with spell work over your person. It just so happened when you exposed it, your person didn't trust nobody. They isolated themselves. Because it's like as soon as they were doing stuff to you as y'all have the same soul, stuff was happening to your person because your person was around that person. So it was just backfiring on them too. And that just did, didn't do nothing but give your person the cue. Hey, I need to isolate myself from these people. Every time I'm around them, something bad happened. It was backfiring. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It was slowing them down. They could have, you know, took a hit in their finances where their money was coming in slow with this Knight of Pentacles. And they just had slow movement throughout life. Yeah, they were in regret. Five of Cups. They were depressed, in regret, embarrassed. When they found out this was the truth, whatever you hadn't spoke the truth about, they were grieving because they could have cut off all communication with you. And it was because of spell work was being played over them. They could have sat back and thought something was wrong with you or you were crazy. And they realized spell work was being played over them, too. Not just you. Yeah, both six of Pentacles, equal give and take. All because of the way they complimented you. And the way you respected that person. They were playing with spell work over both of y'all. Yeah, and this made your person sail away six of swords. Sail away from things that no longer serve purpose in their life. After being betrayed, ten of swords and backstabbed. They were betrayed by people that they thought they could trust. Yeah, they hid a lot of stuff from them, high priestess. They wanted to keep all of this hidden. They didn't want your person to know what you exposed was the truth. Just so happened, once you exposed it, they started playing with spell work over you. And it backfired. Yeah, it backfired. Four of Cups, it was rejected. As soon as they tried to come playing your energy, it was rejected. Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. And then Five of Swords. Yeah. They were sitting back jealous, envious, mentally unstable. They wanted you to be looked at. You, you're somebody that's very dominant. As I say, you're somebody that, you know, you can balance out energy. So I've, you know, already read the King of Pentacles energy. The Queen of Pentacles. You're somebody that's very stable, a jack of all trades. You're money oriented, business oriented, and you work hard very dominant you know you work hard for whatever you had done you know whatever you have but you also have been through a lot and a lot of people were sitting back jealous of how you make money how hard you you know some stuff you probably had done worked so hard for and now it's just like coming easy to you and they're sitting back at the five of swords jealous looking at you as you somebody that just the money just come to you you don't got to do nothing but they don't know how hard you had done work to get where you at they don't know how hard you do work or what type of, you know, what type of strength that you put inside of whatever you work on or whatever job you have. They just looked at you with hate and envy and jealousy and wanted to win at all costs to sabotage you because they're physically, mentally and spiritually unstable. Yeah, King of Wands is here and it just made your person more attracted to you, King of Wands. Wanting to come towards you quick. Heavy passion. You built this person confidence up. You made this person look into spirituality. As they probably didn't even believe in spirituality before. Yeah, they noticed a lot of people were sitting back at the five of wands with you. In competition. Wanted to secretly be you. That's why they thought they would send conflict to you. And then they would, you know, talk like you. Act like you. And try to keep that person in their energy. And it didn't work. It backfired. That person looked at them as people that's fake. Fugazi. And phony. Yeah, King of Cups. This person, it just opened this person's heart chakra up. As they looked around and seen everybody wanted to be you, why not, you know, open my heart up to the person that I want to be with? King of Cups. 
<laughs> and this person cannot get out of their head. Nine of swords. They can't stop dreaming about you. They cannot sleep at night. <laughs> they... <laughs> Yeah, and it's leaving these people at a mental prison in their head. The more and more they try to do stuff behind the scenes, they just get rejected and backfiring on them. And it's, it's making this person at a mental prison in their head. They cannot stop thinking about you. That's all they, you're the only person on their mind. Nine of swords. <laughs> yeah, because you're a boss. This empress. You're somebody that's boss. A divine feminine or a divine masculine. Or you just balance out both of those energies. And you have control of the life that you lead, the energy that you walk in. And you're, this person knows that you're able to build an empire and they want to build an empire with you as they stand up in emperor or empress energy. Take it where it resonates. Yeah, four of pentacles in a reverse. They don't want to hold back from you no more with this four of pentacles in a reverse. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you. The musician is here. This person is trying to manifest you back in their life because they don't, they can't get you off their mind. They only see you. Yeah, seven of pentacles. They want to build with you. They want to invest with you. Yeah, destiny. The will of fortune. They know that you all are destined to be together. You are destined to be in this person's life and they are destined to be in your life. And this person realized they're not going to get, you know, they're not going to have good fortune or have, you know, good luck unless they come together with you. Because it's like as they're around all these other people that were trying to sabotage you and secretly sabotage them, they were at the will of fortune in the reverse. They were experiencing bad luck and they didn't understand why. Yeah, they needed to work on their self, eight of pentacles. They need to sit back and, you know, work on their self and heal stuff that they have went through because when y'all come together, it won't happen again. People won't be able to come and try to isolate y'all. It won't be, it's not going to be any of that. Yeah, it's only going to be celebrating three of cups. This person want to get together, you know, and marry you with this three of cups. This could be like a marriage as well, but they want to reconcile with you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Whoever these people are that were, you know, at the Page of Pentacles, being childish and didn't have much to offer your your person, and didn't didn't want you, didn't want your person to think that you had anything to offer them because they wanted your person to think that you were somebody that was stuck and you couldn't offer them anything. These people that were being childish, they're caught up in some type of way in the justicism with this Eight of Swords. So as they were playing in a, in a spiritual realm, they got caught up in spiritual jail. Now in this physical realm, as they did something physically to you and your person to try to have you wrapped up in a justice system, they're getting ready to go to jail in the physical realm. And it didn't have to be for what they did to you. It's stuff that they could have did in the past that they thought they got away with. It's coming back to surface. So justice will be served and the situation will be balanced out. Yeah, these people being left out in the cold, five of pentacles, low vibrational. And they're experiencing financial lack. 